my contract if you want. Pro-democracy protests continued this week in Hong Kong as China sent troops to the border in what analysts have called a blatant threat of force. In an official statement, Beijing remarked that everything is fine over here and Americans should relax and attend the latest Hollywood blockbusters such as the upcoming Top Gun, fully approved by party censors. In the statement, the party also blames what they refer to as a terrorist movement on interactions with the CIA, American infiltrators, and the new Dragon Chain logo. Crypto Twitter celebrated news this week that prison time for Funface may make its account deletion impossible in the scheduled 26 days. And in financial news, Bitcoin is still up. This past week, stars aligned for deep state actors around the world as billionaire pedophile Jeffrey Epstein took his own life while on suicide watch. The world's elite have been united in their response and in a joint statement declared that everything is just fine here and Americans should just relax and attend the latest Hollywood blockbusters such as the upcoming Top Gun movie starring Tom Cruise, approved by party censors. Mr. Epstein could not be reached for comment, although a spokesperson noted that he was en route to his new Caribbean compound. All hail Chad. This week, Philip Hansen celebrates his one-year anniversary at Dragon Chain. When Philip joined the company one year ago, we knew we'd hired a great talent. We thank Philip for his energy and enthusiasm in building the business of the best blockchain platform in the world. Congratulations, Philip. Here's to a year in crypto. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Dragon Chain console. Let's start off by claiming a wallet. To do so, we'll click the account button in the sidebar. And once we reach the account page, click the Add Ethereum Wallet button. Next, we will enter the Ethereum address of the wallet we wish to claim to begin the claim process. In order to finish the claim process, we will need to send the specified amount of dragons to Dragon Chain's verification wallet. Once the claim has been verified, it will automatically be added to your account. Before you can start using this wallet, you will need to mark it as your primary wallet. Let's now take a look at creating a level 1 business node, which we will use to run smart contracts. We'll start by clicking on Chains in the sidebar. Next, click Create a Managed Chain. From here, we'll need to give our chain a name. Upon submission, this modal will appear, allowing you to download important information about your chain. At this point, we are just waiting for the chain to finish initializing. After a few minutes, our chain has successfully booted up. Let's create our first contract by clicking the Add Smart Contract button. Your smart contract will need a name, a specified execution order of serial or parallel. You will also need to determine if your contract should run at an interval. This interval may be seconds or a cron expression. The code you wish to run should live in a private or public Docker image hosted on Docker Hub. The command and arguments you wish to run can be specified here. Lastly, we'll click the Add Smart Contract button to finalize the process. At this point, we'll wait a few moments for the smart contract to finish creating. Now that we can see our smart contract has finished creating, let's click on it and click the View Logs button. As we can see, our smart contract is successfully executing our command at the specified interval. If we wish to view older or newer logs, we can do so by clicking the respective button. What if we wanted to edit our smart contract? We can do so by clicking on the contract we wish to edit and clicking the Edit button. 
let's go ahead and change the interval we wish our contract to run at. Now, click the Update Smart Contract button. Once the contract updates successfully, we will be redirected to the contract page. Let's go ahead and take a look at the logs one more time. As we can see, our contract is now executing on a five second interval. Let's now navigate to the Dragging Net tab to take a look at pooling chains and unmanaged chains. Pooling chains are verification nodes managed by Dragon Chain. Any Dragon Chain user can apply time to a pooling chain. If a pooling chain participates in verifying a block, all users that have applied time to the pooling chain will share in its payouts based on time applied. Now, let's take a look at unmanaged chains. Using our open source platform, you can run a Dragon Chain on your own hardware. To get started, let's click the Register Unmanaged Chain button and give our chain a name. Once you have registered your unmanaged chain, navigate over to the Matchmaking tab to find your chain's ID and matchmaking token. You will need this information in order to participate in DragonNet. Once your unmanaged chain has been set up, you can apply time to it the same way you would any other chain. You can find more information on setting up an unmanaged chain at our docs website, dragonchaincoredocs.dragonchain.com. We hope you enjoy this new console experience. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Last week on Super Happy Dragon Lucky, we had the privilege of an exclusive interview with SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce, who was the keynote for Singapore University's social sciences convergence forum titled Inclusive Blockchain Finance and Emerging Technologies. In Commissioner Peirce's keynote, Renegade Pandas Opportunity for Cross Border Cooperation in Regulation of Digital Assets, she thanked her former research assistant. Robbie Green and Professor Lee for the opportunity. This week, we want to introduce Professor Lee to expand further on one of the many reasons crypto and blockchain related businesses have set up in jurisdictions such as Singapore. I had the pleasure of catching up with Professor Lee in Taipei during the Asia Blockchain Summit. Here's what he had to say on why Singapore is a node for the global blockchain ecosystem and where he sees it as a jurisdiction with a clearer registry framework. Hi, hi David. Uh, thank you for joining us on the Dragon Chain uh, talk show. Uh, you gave a fantastic keynote yesterday, and uh, uh, it was in Chinese, but the translation from what I got from the translation was that Singapore is going to be a fantastic uh, country to start your uh, or uh, move your blockchain company to or start a, 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 an office. So I was wondering if you could summarize for um, our views in America, uh, why Singapore is a great place for a blockchain company. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, I'm glad you liked the presentation. Um, basically, yesterday I was just talking about new technology and a new way of, um, you know, for the for, um, for regulate, for regulators. So there's also a new way that uh, we can deal with new phenomena like the Libra coin. Yes. So basically I was just saying that um, we can't use the old regulation to regulate uh, new technology. We really need to be a little bit more adventurous and at the same time aware of the risks posed by all this new technology. And I think Singapore and many other governments has actually sorted out some of this new ways of dealing with the new technology. And in terms of Singapore, uh, I think we have a central bank who really understands crypto. Uh, they have uh, the teams of people working uh, in many different ways from you know, looking at the source code, writing the source code and looking at the governance structure 
and also looking at the ethical uh, perspective. And more importantly, they're looking at how to ensure that the new technology can have sustainable development with uh, minimum risk. Singapore is one of the best places because uh, it's multilingual. Yes. That's one thing. And I think that also that the government understand that the technology can do a lot of good. So they're promoting technology to do well, do good. And that's a national policy yes. from our uh, um, you know, Deputy Prime Minister to say that uh, whatever new technology that we have, uh, it's just not about making money. Yeah. It is about doing good. Uh, it's about serving people. It's about using the technology to improve the life of people. Yeah. So Singapore really, the um, uh, entire population are moving towards the direction of doing good, doing well. Yeah. And that's where financial inclusion comes in. And that's where the entire machinery of the government, whether it's on funding, whether it's on grant, whether it's on education, yeah. whether it's on regulation, it's all geared towards welcoming any uh, technology company, any financial technology company to come to Singapore and do good and do well together, not only in Singapore, but the rest of the world. And you will find that if you land in Singapore, um, from the registration of the companies to seeking for funding and also understanding uh, the entire community, uh, you will be very at home Yes. Coming in Singapore, you don't feel uh, the kind of constraint in many countries where re regulation may be unclear yeah. or regulators are trying to sort out the problem in Singapore. It is very clear. Regulation is very clear what you can do yes. and what you cannot do. And if you can't do, they have the sandbox. Yes. And you will still get a lot of leeway to do what you want to do, provided that you're doing good and you're not yes. scammed. Yes. You're not out there to yeah. be speculative. Yeah. You know, you yeah. really want to have good investor yeah. to be with you. Where do you see Singapore in the next five years uh, with uh, so many uh, companies coming to Singapore as, as a headquarter or base uh, around uh, that, that have a blockchain or deep tech uh, heritage? Um, you look at the whole of Singapore, in my opinion, it's just like the blockchain community. <laughs> yes. Singapore, yes. Uh, including our you know, ministers, they always say that Singapore is a node uh, of the entire ecosystem. Yeah. So it's just like any blockchain nodes that Singapore is. So it works with many, many countries. They have a lot of agreements in terms of blockchain cooperation. It has a lot of uh, trade agreements as well with many, many countries. You have a lot of taxation agreement with many, many countries with double tax agreement. So all in all, it's being set up as a node for any businessman who wants to do business in Singapore. Yeah. And Singapore is not the center. Singapore is just a node. It's just a facilitator for the entire blockchain world to grow. Yeah. So it doesn't threaten anyone. Uh, it is a collaborative society. You find, you find that the people welcome at a blockchain community. You are in the com blockchain community, you see that we are linked to everywhere in the world. So I can see that Singapore in five to ten years' time will be just a node. Uh, hopefully, we like Satoshi, as the entire blockchain world grows, Singapore will just fade, uh, like Satoshi fade into the background, but continue to play a major role in facilitating the growth of not only blockchain, but blockchain as a uh, important foundation for the convergence of technology because we have mapped out our three to five years plan in Singapore for technology that we're going to promote AI, big data, IoT, yeah. and many other technology that we have. And surely there are a lot of grants. Yes. Uh, Singapore is, uh, is known to have a lot of yes. grants and yeah. a lot of known in terms of grants, yeah. but a lot of unseen benefits yes. and unseen help, sometimes visible, sometimes invisible, you'll find that uh, there's a lot of help as a businessman doing business in Singapore, yeah. especially in the blockchain community. Yeah. So I think that is the kind of uh, forces that we see. Yeah. Fantastic. And I won't keep you from lunch. So I uh, just want to say that uh, uh, as part of sort of our new office at 1880, we're going to be doing the blockchain brunches and we'd love to have uh, you as a guest speaker at one of these uh, uh, blockchain brunches. Uh, so uh, yeah, look forward to... Sure, uh, wherever I can help and uh, welcome to Singapore. I'm sure you enjoy the journey in Singapore. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh,
Thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Cheers. So one of the partnerships we've done in Vietnam for the Dragon Chain Academy is with the Vietnam Silicon Valley Accelerator, known as VSV. Our partnership with VSV allows us to connect with the different stakeholders in the ecosystem, such as the investors, the startups, and the entrepreneurs. If they want to get themselves certified in blockchain education, they could do so on the Academy platform. We are also working with VSV to create more content to be placed on the Academy. We will be updating you on this shortly. Next up, we have an interview with Hui Pham the Program Director of VSV, on his thoughts of Vietnam and its scene and the projects they are looking for. Hi, I'm Huy Pham. I'm Accelerator Program Director of Vietnam Silicon Valley, an accelerator for very early stage startup in Vietnam. Uh, we started in 2013. At that time, there's not many people in Vietnam know about what is the startup. So we, we came from as a project of um, government after that, uh, we set up uh, an accelerator to do invest uh, into the startup. We invested in uh, 70 startups so far, and as such, quite to like go with the startup communities. And uh, I met uh, Nico yeah, in um, one and a half years ago in TechFest, and uh, we have quite a lot of activity work together. And I'm really happy to cooperate with uh, Nico and Dragon Change to uh, help the startup uh, in Vietnam. Well, uh, startup in Vietnam is quite different uh, to other countries. Uh, the founders in Vietnam, they're quite young, maybe just one or two years uh, experience working. Uh, so, but they, they have a, a big dream. They want to uh, start up uh, something for their own. And uh, many people, they came to Vietnam Silicon Valley and asked for the support. Uh, when we see the founders, uh, uh, when we see the founder, we, we see uh, they should be someone who like, have a big, uh, like, big dream and want to make it uh, by any way. And, uh, uh, because we focus on very early stage startup, so uh, we request others they should have at least one team, one full time working team for the project, and they will, would have a, like um, a MVP, uh, what can ready to go to the market. And we also open for the international startup as long as uh, they want to expand to Vietnam. Our, our program is quite like uh, similar to other program. Uh, we started in uh, like seven years ago. We learned a lot of from uh, Techstar, and uh, our program lasts for four months. In four four months, uh, we try to have the startup like um, uh, upgrade their business model and uh, uh, find a good uh, strategy for the sale marketing and help them to. Uh, send their product to the market and help them to connect uh, to more VCs all over the world. And uh, we based in Hanoi, so mostly we request all the staff have to go to Hanoi working with us because all our team based in Hanoi, so it's, it's better when we can work uh, directly. So. Uh, at the beginning, we just invest. Uh, we just invested around ten k. It's quite small because uh, at that time we just have some angel investor. The local one join our fund. Uh, but uh, up uh, after a few years, uh, when we have some good results, we got more. We uh, got more LP join our fund. We increase our fund to like twenty k and then forty k right now. So when the startup, they join our program, uh, mostly we, we call startup by batch and we select around 10 startups to invest it. Uh, and uh, they, they got, they will have that uh, 40 k investment and um, 40 k investment to exchange maximum 10%. It's uh, 40 k is not much in some like 
here to compare to America or Europe. But in Vietnam, they probably enough to spend for the team in six months or one year. Why? I ask many, like, it's not come from my own opinion. I ask many uh, uh, partners and even in some uh, international startup why they want to go to Vietnam this time. Most of them, they said that uh, this one, this time is golden time to go to Vietnam. A uh, startup is a new definition in Vietnam, just just started uh, five years ago back now. And uh, that's why uh, we can see a lot of opportunity for the startup. Most of uh, industry, we uh, we haven't seen any like big uh, rival, big like big player in the market. So the startup, uh, the new startup, they have a chance to become a uh, number one or number two in the market. So if the if the stuff they join the market at uh, this time, that is really really uh, good timing for them, and for the venture capital as well. In Vietnam, there is not many uh, venture capitals. Uh, so the when the international uh, VCs they come to Vietnam, they they have um, they have many uh, options to to select. So that is a good time for both a startup and a venture capitals. Well, it changed a lot. As I remember, like Vietnam is like in top two in in a service Asia in the term of changing in tech a startup. And um, right now, when you go to outside and you can ask everyone, most of people say about uh, startup and all the TV channels. They just like have a lot of program and a TV show. Just say about the startup. Everyone in Vietnam wants to do startup. So I think that is good changing. Uh, the, re the reason I joined this VA because I saw them have a big, uh, uh, just a big reason to go. Uh, we hope that uh, in the future, we want to be the number one accelerators in Southeast Asia. We also want to set up our own uh, venture fund. So we are on the way to set up uh, our, our own venture fund. So hope we can close it, the fund soon. Well, at the, at the first talk, I, I think that is a really good program. Blockchain is, is new, very new in Vietnam. And, uh, but all, all the startup, they want to apply the blockchain in their business. But there's not many, how to say, a uh, good program or uh, good source for them to learn. Uh, working with, uh, Dragon Change, uh, I think we can bring a lot of knowledge and, um, resource to the startup. Uh, not only the startup, uh, in my portfolio, but also the startup in the whole country. So, yes. Hello, and uh, this is uh, Super Happy Dragon Lucky number five. Um, this uh, this past week, uh, we'll go over a couple of things that happened this past week and what we're doing right now. Um, we we released the new console, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, watch the demo that uh, that Noah showed of of the uh, walkthrough. Um, there are a lot of uh, interesting pieces in it, including some things that will be more and more useful coming. Uh, uh, coming ahead that uh, mostly have to do with uh, application of time to nodes and uh, verification nodes um, and on-prem stuff. Um, so uh, we encourage everyone to check out the new console, start start building stuff, run a node, um, uh, give us some feedback. Uh, right now, uh, engineering, uh, the dev team is working on uh, monthly billing on uh, the Eternal uh, project, uh, adding a, a few new features before we, uh, we're going to have some uh, Pretty interesting things coming there as well. Um, we uh, we have uh, a couple of people working on the uh, devotion contract, uh, mostly for Dragon Scale, but we have a couple of other uses, uh, in particular with uh, scarcity of time. 
And uh, we also are going to announce, uh, I hope soon, uh, a series of bounty programs, uh, starting most likely with bug and security bounties. And uh, we have a few other interesting things to throw in there as well. Um, and then uh, we're working Dragon Den, um, hoping to have uh, a few uh, good good releases out soon, mostly with uh, front end UI, where we refactored back end. And um, we're working on uh, how it uh, begins to roll out soon. So hopefully that's in the, uh, you know, the, you'll see some effects soon if you're a beta user. Um, okay, so people asked, uh, and it, you know, we, we wanted to, to do everything right, so um, uh, we're, we're announcing the, the winners of the giveaway for the rebrand competition. So um, we have uh, uh, 13 total winners. Uh, the first prize was uh, 10 winners with uh, the uh, exclusive rebrand package, which is the, uh, the new logo um, on, uh, I think, a shirt and a mug. Um, so the winners are uh, Eric Deniz, Casco, Space Blimp, J Dave Chisholm, Andrea Muldal, Garrett Lockhart, Live and Learn, Ryan Wilson, Eric Richards, and Arvin Kachikian. Um, sorry about that. Uh, one winner will be featured on the uh, Super Happy Dragon Lucky show uh, and receive a set of all of the JoJo shirts, and that winner is James Rocco. Uh, the next prize, one winner gets the NDA AMA. That's uh, an AMA session uh, with me where you can ask uh, questions under NDA. So if you want to know something but you, you, know, you can't broadcast it. Winner there is Sander or Sander. Um, and then uh, the last prize, one winner, a 10-minute Q&A uh, on camera, uh, John F., is the winner of that prize. So uh, expect to receive an email from uh, our team. Uh, Zara will, it'll come from Zara and uh, she will send it out and uh, you know, probably today, next day or two, um, and uh, have required information to, to, uh, to claim. So watch your email, make sure you get back to us. Um, so we've, uh, next thing, we've received a really good uh, feedback about the demo segment, both from tech and non-tech people. Um, so we're wondering if you can share what you would like to see uh, in the future uh, uh, in, uh, you know, in demos. Uh, and we have, we have a lot that uh, we're looking to do and uh, mostly trying to find time to do them all. Um, so if you have ideas, share the comments in the YouTube, uh, under YouTube video um, and or I'll, wherever else you can contact us on uh, Twitter or Telegram. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Huy Pham. I'm an um, accelerator program director of Vietnam Silicon Valley and I would like to say big congratulations to uh, Miko and uh, Dragon Chain to open the new office in Singapore. And uh, we hope Vietnam Silicon Valley and um, and Dragon Change will have more activity to support the startup in Southeast Asia. Hey Dragon Chain, welcome to Singapore. We can't wait to have you here and your super cool technology and have Singapore Dragon fired up. Cheers. Hi, uh, my name is Tony Wheeler from Imagine Ventures from Australia. And it's an absolute pleasure to meet Nicole from Dragon Chain here in Vietnam. I just want to say congratulations on opening the new office in Singapore, and I'm super excited to see what Dragon Chain does throughout the rest of the Asia region. Congratulations on the launch of the Singapore office. Uh, welcome to Asia Dragon Chain. Hi, hi uh, Singapore and the rest of the world. My name is Tomo. Uh, I've been in Vietnam for like more than 10 years now, uh, and I've been specifically like in the Bitcoin uh, community here since the beginning, about five years ago. Uh, the company now is called Bitcoin Vietnam. Uh, we operate an exchange and a brokerage, all the services as well. Uh, and it's kind of exciting to now see like more projects, especially uh, something of the caliber of Dragon Chain, uh, which is up opening the office in the neighborhood, in, the, in our backyard in Singapore, um, and to see operations growing here in the region, especially in Vietnam. Uh, there's plenty of other projects in, in, in Vietnam, but it's, it's nice to see stuff, especially from back in, back in the U.S., uh, ni nice projects that 
hopefully we can do some work together in the future. And it's nice to see this kind of community, this kind of project, and this kind of technology uh, coming to, to the region. Hi, I'm Jeanette from Blockchain Singapore. Um, so just want to say congratulations to Dragon Chain Asia on their new office, and we look forward to working together. Congratulations, Dragon Chain. I want to welcome to our Singapore community, and I wish you guys the best of luck. So good evening, everyone. My name is Derek. I'm representing S-Block community in Vietnam. Basically, our S-Block wallet is uh, like, if you have Bitcoin at term, you can store in our wallet and we can pay you monthly profit. Uh, it's my pleasure today to meet the Dragon Chain. Uh, it's a health company. Just uh, happened in Vietnam currently and we're looking forward to work with uh, Dragon Chain in the future. Hi, this is Justin from Torigen. Uh, welcome Dragon Chain to Asia and hope to see more of you guys soon. Hi, I'm Aaron from Engineer. Welcome Dragon Chain to Asia and congrats on the new office opening in Singapore. Hi, I'm Heng from Group 8. Uh, welcome to Asia Dragon Chain. Look forward to all the exciting events that you're going to hold here. Welcome to Asia Dragon Chain and congratulations on your Singapore office. Hi, uh, welcome to Singapore Dragon Chain. Uh, Nicole and the Dragon Chain team, congrats on your opening of your Singapore office. We look forward to seeing more Dragon Chain programs and partners in Asia. Hi Dragon Chain, congratulations on the opening of the Singapore office. I represent M2030. It's a unique organization that brings together businesses, consumers and health organizations to end malaria in Asia. And we're, we're partnering with Dragon Chain in Vietnam to improve the traceability of funds, uh, to make sure that the, all the contributions that go towards malaria really hit the, hit the recipients of those, uh, of those funds. So again, congratulations. Uh, we're looking forward to working very closely with uh, Dragon Chain in the future. It's Crazy JoJo's craziest merch sale ever! Get everything in Dragon Chain merch! Get it all now during Crazy JoJo's craziest merch sale ever! JoJo's prices are insane! We are not undersold, we will not be undersold, we cannot be undersold, and we mean it! Get a JoJo shirt, get a Dragon Chain sticker, get a hardware wallet, and get a limited edition JoJo while you still can! Go to merch.dragonchain.com. That's merch.dragonchain.com. Merch.dragonchain.com.